Today, Dr. Ray and I are in Missouri to learn about a very unusual amphibian that lives in the cool rivers of the Ozarks in Missouri and Arkansas. Ray, this riverbed yeah. will be ideal habitat for so many species of wildlife. It's true. Apparently in the Ozark rivers, there's something called a hellbender. Have you heard of a hellbender? Never. They call it a hellbender or a snot otter. What could that be? I don't know. It sounds like quite an attractive animal. But apparently they're an endangered species and they're really important for the health of these rivers. Hellbenders are the largest species of amphibian that we have here in the United States. There's an Ozark hellbender and an Eastern hellbender. There's a reason why they have that name of hellbender. Back in the day, people would catch them online and reel and be terrified of this thing. Well, Ozark hellbender is a large aquatic salamander that can get about 16 to 20 inches in size. They have a big flat head, like a pancake, wrinkly skin all down their side, and they have a large rudder-like tail for swimming and four limbs to walk with. They have skin that almost looks like a lasagna noodle, and these folds in their skin help them to absorb oxygen by giving them more surface area to do so. Like all amphibians, salamanders breathe and absorb water through their skin. This makes them very vulnerable to changes in the environment. Globally, more than 40% of amphibians are now in danger of extinction due to pollution, deadly disease, and habitat loss. Amphibians are what we like to refer to as an indicator species, meaning that they're so sensitive to environmental changes that if there is a problem with their habitat, they're often the first species to go. Hellbenders in particular, because they are a fully aquatic species, if hellbenders are present and in good numbers, we know that the waterways are healthy. Unfortunately, Ozark hellbenders have been disappearing for decades. In the early 2000s, it was estimated that if serious considerations for the conservation of Ozark hellbenders were not made, we were gonna lose this species within our lifetime. To see the situation firsthand, I've traveled to the beautiful North Fork River with Missouri State Herpetologist Jeff Brigler to search for hellbenders. Let's go take a look. This is such a beautiful environment, Jeff. When is it that makes it so perfect for the hillbend? Well, the Ozarks are very kind of ancient mountain ranges. It has a lot of limestone dolomite rock that easily erodes when water runs through it. This rock is actually in the river bottoms too. With breaks off, creates these nice big boulder rocks, bedrock crevices, and ideal conditions for this animal to live. In addition to that, you have some of the biggest springs in North America here in the Ozarks that pump in very cold water. And that cold water is heavily saturated with oxygen. And for a hellbender that breathes through their skin, it can easily absorb all the oxygen it requires just because of the cold conditions of these rivers. Plenty of other amphibians and reptiles also thrive in this unique habitat. But today, we're on a hellbender hunt. So right over here under the base of this rock might be a good spot. That might be a really good spot there. Or see this little edge of bedrock right here exposed. If there's any hooks or little nooks and crannies along that bedrock ledge right there, that's, that's the most ideal location. So for a bottom walking hellbenders, they love to crawl into these little holes and tight places. This is a great location for hellbenders. The only way to find one of these slippery salamanders is to suit up, get wet, and turn over a few rocks. This river should be teeming with life. It's exactly the type of habitat that Jeff was describing. That's a dinger. We'll just work our way up to the next ledge here. <laughs> Hellbenders don't like to be out at daytime. They like to hide under the large, massive rocks in the system where the predators cannot get to them. Wow. I was hoping to sit into there. Oh, there's a nice rock, too. Why everybody a 50 pound rock? I think you got some homes out there. Some crayfish under there. <laughs> uh -huh. So this is hellbender food. Yeah. 
in the river seems to be full of them. Yes, uh, about every rock we flip, you know, there's three, three to five under every one of them. These crayfish are a very good sign, so we keep searching for hellbenders. They've got to be here somewhere. I mean, this looks like an ideal rock for an adult hellbender to be under right here. This is big, flat, seated down really well. If there's no wonder to hear, I'm going to be disappointed. <laughs> How there wasn't one under that, I don't know. I can't believe there wasn't one under there either. I mean, there used to be a lot easier, didn't it? I mean, by, by far. Back in the 70s and 80s, they would find a hell in there near about every fourth or fifth rock they would be read of it. Oh my gosh, it, would, it takes me about a hundred to even get one. Apart from getting a very good workout, this was a very bad sign. We estimated back in the 70s that Missouri's rivers and streams had about 44,000 hellbenders. And today, we estimate in the Ozarks, there's less than 2,000. But there's good news on the horizon. 